And it is Thursday. That means welcome to another edition of Ask Me Anything AMA MSM style. That is right. Yes, Alec. Yes. I don't know what the hell happened here. Sleepy Dog is in the house. Welcome to all the MSM fam. We are glad to see you here on the 12th of April. Can you believe it? The 12th of April. Affordable nutrition. You're speaking my language now. And I, I have affordable ads, so I think we should make love, if you know what I mean. Eric Williams, legendary, what is up? Just for men at its best. Pete Kenny, you know me fucking well. You've been around a long time around these fucking filthy, disgusting, perverted parts. Jay Bartholomew, what is up? Schaefer, 1971. I was four in 1971. Four years of age. Didn't even know what my dick was. <laughs> Badass shirt. Looks good with that beard. You know what? This is my buddies at Old School Iron, man. I got to take care of them, man. Mr. J wants to come in. I, I, I wonder if he has... If he's able to... Uh, Use that magazine afterwards. Hey, Jennifer, what is up? Philly Marinara, my fucking paisan. Mr. J. Mr. J, I, 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 I want to see you. I don't want to... There you... That's... Well, that's okay, too. Mr. J, did you cover that magazine with saran wrap so you could not make the pages get sticky? No, I did not. Uh, this is a treasured collector's edition and will be treated as such. Okay, but if you do utilize it for sexual purposes, I do hope that you uh, have a towel handy. Well, that towel won't be necessary because that will never happen. No? You mean you don't think that cat Sakura is worthy of masturbation? Okay. Of my uh, endless torture. Okay, but that does turn you on. So in turn, you would reach orgasm if that was happening. So you should fantasize about that while looking at the centerfold, Mister J. You got to admit, she's one hot young lady, isn't she? A lovely torturous one. Yes. Do you know she just turned thirty like last week? She's a young lady. Literally. She's a year younger than me, as I'm 31. You're 31? Are you kidding me? I thought you were like 25, bro. No, I'm, uh, no, I'm not. I'm oh, not. so I'm the old man of the group. If me, you, and her hung out, I would be the fucking grandpa. You wouldn't be that, you wouldn't be that much of a grandpa, but... Uh... <laughs> Thank you, my friend. That's kind of you. So what you got for us today, bro? Let's go. Let's hear the Mr. J always lets us start the show off with a bang. Mr. Johnson, the pleasure was all mine, and I'm glad you enjoyed I knew you were going to enjoy it, so I could not wait to get one in your hands. And I was at the perfect issue with the lovely, torturous female on the cover. Yes, it is indeed. So that's all I got, that's all I got today. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And once again, enjoy the magazine. Sorry. Make sure she's okay. Go get take care of her. Bring her some fucking water or some juice or something, all right? Make sure she's in good health. Uh, she is. She good. Is. I'm glad to hear it. Send her my regards, Mr. J. That's, uh, that's exactly what I'll do. Thank you, sir. All right. I'll see you on the other Thank side you. of this. On the feed, my friend. All right. Thank you. You are Angel. very welcome. That is Muscle Sport. Muscle Sport Media's family member, our cult hero, Mr. Johnson. He loves female muscle, and I agree with him. 
Mr. Johnson seems to be a No, Den hey, Denise, what's up, my buddy? What's going on? Denise, if you want to bang that show out today, I could do so if you want. Or tomorrow. I'm here. I'm here in the studio. The big fucking huge studio. I get lost walking around. Thank you, Mr. J. Of course, Mr. J, he had the new magazine, which you can buy. If you want single copies, which I don't, I, I can't understand why anybody would just want one magazine when you can subscribe. But if you do want just one, I don't hold out and just fuck people in the ass so they have to spend more than they want. Go to the store page and you can order a single copy of that or click fucking subscribe and get 32 bucks and uh, uh, free shipping for a year for all four. Thank you, Denise. She is beautiful. Eric, I, uh, I, 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 I can't agree with you more. Now, just, just look how, look how she is just, and I posted this picture for hump day yesterday. Look at that. That's her and her mom. Her mom is really sexy. You look 10 years younger. Why? Did you paint? No, I know. I, I have Palumboism. <laughs> and Dave's my friend, so I'm sure that he won't get mad if I have a little laugh uh, at that because I'm admitting to die. He admits it too. King of the gym, Matt to the How wants to come in. Let's see how Matt's doing. Squat Princess. I wish Squat Princess was coming in instead of a second male. Jesus, we need some fucking girls on this fucking program. All it is is a swinging dick party coming in live. Fucking sausage fest. Hey, Matt to the How, what's up, bro? What's up, brother? How the heck are you doing? How you feeling? I went to the doctor today. I don't have to have no more surgery done at all. Good. Good. So now it is fucking full steam ahead with the supplements, huh? <laughs> I that what what are the likelihood that I have an eighteen and a half inch cock? How fucking funny is that? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it goes on your pants, right? <laughs> Listen, if I fucking tripled and and sized it, it probably may. Yeah, I think if I tripled it, it would be about that. But uh, so give give the plug to for the uh, the supplements. Go ahead, man. That's the pre-workout, uh, right? Yep, it's a pre-workout. It's very, very strong. And where um, can they find this? When is it going to be for sale, and when can they get it? Um, it's going to be next month. Um, the basically the market right now, we're going to be going to different markets right now. I mean, GNC is going to be carrying it. A couple other supplement companies are going to be carrying it here shortly. And and is the website King of the Gym Nutrition dot com? Um, that's going to be in the process this upcoming. Okay. So that I got Matt Designing doing it right now. So everything's going to be all cleared and, and stuff like that because I don't want no PayPal shit. I hate that PayPal shit. Oh, really? I like PayPal. I use it. PayPal, the only thing with PayPal is there's a lot of fraud going on with it. They like to, you know, hold money payments and shit. Yes. When you, you know, and I don't like the way it operates like that. You know, if you're doing... Especially supplements, you got to have that payment in there immediately because you're, you're trying to refill your stock as you're getting that price. Yeah, and you're spending money to fucking send it and ship it. So you don't want that money being, uh, you know, at the 30th day right before they, uh, you know, they say they didn't get it. And then they hold the payment on you. They pull it and give it back to the guy. Yeah, I hear you. But a lot of people use it. So I don't want to, like, shut out potential customers to buy my magazine and shit. So I use it for oh, that. Yeah, good, brother. Thanks, Matt. What you gotta do, man. Cool. Keep me right, in, keep me up to date on the stuff. We'll be plugging it with you, bro. All right. Thanks, Not buddy. Tough. That's Matt to the Howard. Matt to the Howard. King of the Howard. King of the Howard. King of the Gym Nutrition. And there she is, Thea Renee. She likes PayPal. Well, I like PayPal. If Thea likes it, I love it. And there's Mark the Golden Jet. Bobby fucking Hull from the Winnipeg Jets of the WHA days. The 1970s fucking Alco Cup winning Winnipeg Jets. Now, you can tell Crazy Hawk that. He's a hockey fan. He might go, what's that? <laughs> I'm a little older than Crazy Hawk. Venmo. I got to get into that, Philly. People look. Um, uh, people have been telling me about that. And I, I said, no, I don't use it. I got to look into it. Thea, do you like the beard a little more now? Because it's starting to grow on me since um, I don't know how it happened, but something happened yesterday. 
I don't know how. <laughs> I have my theories, and I'll, I'll, I'll splurge and spill the beans in a bit. Joey, I like the beard better. You like it? Thea, do you like it? My wife still doesn't like it. She says when I kiss her, it, it, it pinches her. I pinch my wife's face when I kiss her, and I always kiss her because I'm a fucking hopeless romantic. I am, a, for, a, for a dirtbag, perverted, piece of shit, old fuck, I am a very nice guy. I'm very nice to my wife and my childs and childrens and stuff <laughs> and my doggies. Latina baby. What is up, Latina baby? <laughs> That's not a great thing with fuzzy faces. I know. Philly Phil. Phil, Phil I got to come to your gym one day. I want to do an interview with fucking Marinara at the fucking gym, a road trip gym. So you and I got to schedule that one day. I'll take a ride out to that gym. What is it, about like 10 minutes, 15 minutes from me? The wrong wrong Next stop, wrong Ronkonkoma. How many times was I loaded off my ass, passed out from my fucking train at Penn, and I would be parked at the Deer Park station, and I would wake up, and I would be in fucking Ronkonkoma, the last stop. And I'm like, fuck! Now I got to wait an hour to get a train going the other way, or I just jump in a fucking, some dirtbag fucking car service. And, and get driven three stops back the other way. <laughs> You're six weeks out. Good. Well, you tell me when you want to do it. Because I don't want to interrupt your prep, bro. I want to do it when you want me to do it. I'm flexible. I'm flexible. Not enough to suck my own dick. But I'm a very flexible person. <laughs> so let's hear the questions. Thea Renee, you must have a question for me. You always come up good stuff on these programs. The programs. But yes, everyone, please feel free to ask me anything or else I look like a liar like those other fuckheads. Oh, I, 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 I got myself all burnt up this morning looking at other fucking videos online. Instagram sucks for removing. Yes, that beautiful ass bent over fucking brown eye picture that Crystal posted that I fucking I liked and commented, of course. And then I fucking, uh, I saw the thing this morning. Did you like that video Crazy said? Yes, 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 yes. P please remind me. What was it? Was that the, the, um, the workout with the dick, the dick thing? <laughs> I, listen, first of all, whoever did that was extremely creative. They did a good job. They made it look like a great infomercial type of thing. But I really think that's a fucking product that would sell <laughs> And I would be the fucking lab rat to use it. Now, Thea, if there was a thing where you benched and it had like a fucking dildo and it would go right into your, uh, you know, your, your thang, wouldn't you want to use it? I mean, because that was like a fucking, um, like a fleshlight connected to a fucking, <laughs> the Yankees and Red Sox brawl. Love it. Cannot wait for the fucking rubber match tonight. I cannot wait for that game tonight. And I think it's great for baseball. I found it on the page I follow, A New Crazy, and you will like it. Well, thank you so much for, for finding it and for passing it on. You are a gem. Yankees Red Sox brawl. Somebody teach that kid how to charge a fucking mound. Oh, my God. That was worse than fucking Robin Ventura when he got caught in a headlock by fucking an 80-year-old Nolan Ryan and got his dick kicked down his throat. Speaking of Crystal, there she is. Be benching super fast reps. Yeah, like when I'm about to come, I get that fleshlight bench thing and I would be like, duh, 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 so I could see the chick if it was like going the other way. And I guess queers could use it because they could just pick the. Like, you ever see guys when they lift their legs up to like bench or do triceps and they cross their legs? That's what the fucking fix would do if it had the dildo going out <laughs> instead of the fleshlight sucking in. Crystal, we were talking about your beautiful butt picture. That they fucking, they, they ripped off the fucking goddamn internet. I posted a comment and I said, these are times where I'm thankful to have a big nose or uh, paraphrasing. I don't recall the exact quote because I can't see it anymore because they took the post down. But Crystal was bent over and the beautiful butt was there. And I, w I blew it up. I, I, I went, did the old iPhone whoosh, so I could see every fucking crevice. And it, it definitely got me hard. The beard makes you look handsome, Joe. Thank you, Mark. I'll take that as a compliment. Walking to the mound all slow and shit. Yeah, it was kind of fucking, you know. But at least there was some blood. Both, But the picture got all fucked up and his shirt got messed up in his hair. 
that was bullshit. I was clothed. Yes, you were. And I was pissed that you did have clothes. I wanted to see your fucking brown starfish, for Christ's sake. Crystal, your ass is mock. Beard looks way better, Joe. Thank you, Rosella. Way more revealing pics on Instagram. That's why you need to put those pictures on Twitter and you could show your fucking asshole wide open. There she is, Miss Mia. I, 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 oh, I knew she'd like it. Crystal, I didn't die my... I, listen, I don't know what happened. Yesterday, um, um, uh, the ironic douche threw up on me and he had so much fucking brown stuff in his mouth and, and his nose from uh, just, you know, fucking getting teabagged by the federations that it just died everything. <laughs> and I was able to wash it off my face, but it stayed on my 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 hair. <laughs> what do you think about this Mark Loeb line of boxing match? Who was he fighting? King of the gym. Matt to the how. I think that's fucking funny. Mark Lobliner in a boxing match. He's a he's a big dude, man. Mark's a good guy. I like Mark Lobler. A lot of people fucking say shit about him, but I like him. You look very hot. Oh come on, Mia, y you're killing me. You're all the way in, in in Sweden. Why couldn't you say that if you were like in Secaucus and I could drive to you? <laughs> Miss Mia, you coming to the Philly Fit Expo? <laughs> Fury, oh shit, yeah, 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 yeah. I heard something about that. I know they were calling each other out on um, on like YouTube and stuff. Furious Pete, if you guys don't know who he is, he like he's like a competitive eater and he's kind of jacked. He's in good shape. And he can eat like a fucking big long sandwich in two seconds. RX is combining with MD. No, no fucking way, man. That would never happen. Where did you see that, Marinara sauce? Philly Marinara gravy. <laughs> <laughs> RX muscle that would be like fucking MD combining with MSM or I am IML combining with MSM <laughs> I would if I could oh Jesus I wish you could <laughs> I would be so nice to you I would take out sightseeing and it would just be platonic of course <laughs> does ass eating cons <laughs> constitute a platonic relationship <laughs> How about getting a foot job? That's that's clean, right? <laughs> Philly information details, please. I'm fucking. I, I, now you got me. My my. You got my curiosity, <laughs> Miss Mia. You like that? <laughs> oh fuck! Yeah, the ironic douche fucking had uh, had fucking. Uh, he had uh, the sneezes and <laughs> throw up. Dog sniff ass to me. Yeah, right, Mandy? Now, if if would Mo kick my ass if the day I met you uh, two years ago at the Arnold, if I would have said, oh, nice to meet you, and I just put my fucking nose up your ass? Did you see IML now has shirts with pink on them? Yeah, but that's cool, though. I did see it on uh, Big Frank's page, but it's not like it's a pink shirt. But... It was a headline on their page. On which page? It's got to be on RX because I know MD wouldn't put that. He would have laughed. What do you have? Ah, oh, fuck. All right. Next time we're together, let's make believe it's the first time we're meeting. <laughs> and please fucking wear very thin revealing pants so I can get my nose into that fucking butt. I think Dave posted a video on that. Could have been a spoof video. I'm, right after the show's up, I'm watching it. I bet your wife changed her opinion. No, Miss Mia, she don't like it. I was saying at the beginning of the program, it still pinches her. She doesn't like it. She came home from work yesterday. I worked out of the house yesterday, and uh, I, I went die crazy. <laughs> and I fucking, uh, I will wear a skirt. Oh, even better. No panties, I hope, right? So I can go right from fucking back to front. See, I'll start in the back. <laughs> I want you to know that I really care. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, fuck. Um, oh, um, but now, uh, where, where the fuck? I, wa I wanted to say something, but I, will, I'll, I think I'm going to wait for the numbers to go up a little. What is everybody like fucking uh, you know, on their fucking, like, you know, lunch hour and they're really eating lunch? Uh, oh, excuse me. Looking very, as I get a compliment, I'm fucking burping up my, my fucking, uh, I had some fucking meat and rice. Looking very good with that red shirt. Hey, I'm looking good because it's oldschoolion.com. 
That's my fucking buddy, Darren Manahan. Darren is Darren and I are gonna do a Skype. He has a man of very, very um uh interesting life he's led. He was a CO in California in the same prison and wing that Charlie Manson was fucking in. So we're going to talk about that. He would only get jealous if you didn't sniff his also. If I could do yours, but I had to do his, I might take one for the team. I wouldn't bang him, though. <laughs> I like his new video with the fucking dumbbells. It reminds me of the one with the black fucking bodysuit on. Ooh, I just got fucking money from somebody at PayPal. Ooh, good. I can actually buy some fucking pizza tonight. Um, yeah, I wanted to... Come on, where is this fucking... The rusty trombone. No, man. Nah, I couldn't do that. Even if I could, even if I would receive one from you, I don't think I, I would probably lie and say, okay, but she has to go first, and then I would just run away. <laughs> and there she is, Miss Dina. Dina, Dina, Dina. Dina has the fucking ass. If there is a flaw in that fucking ass, I'm definitely fucking not seeing it. Because I don't believe there is a floor in it. I think it is perfect for Christ's sake. And she's got big hair too. And I fucking love big hair from way back when. And it never left. It's still it's still like a, a button that somebody presses like on my fucking urethra. <laughs> he has to wa watch this later. He had to work. Oh, okay. I want that fucking video of him doing that. Uh. And with the bodysuit on, I want to put it on Muscle Sport TV. <laughs> yes, Dina. Dina is very, very sexy. I I do have to say, and I've said it before, and I'll fucking, at the fucking expense of being redundant, but it's worth it. Why hot chicks get into this fucking retarded show, I don't know, but I will fucking take it. Oh, good. Send it to me. Joe at MuscleSportMag.com. You can throw a nudie in there while you're at it. <laughs> Clit shot. <laughs> oh, Philly, Philly. Imagine RX joined MD. Hey, fucking Stana. Stana, what happened to your fucking foot? I saw your post, dude. The women have taken over. Yes, please take over. Holy shit. Dumb nuts. <laughs> now he's giving me compliments, this fuck. <laughs> I'm out on a date. We'll watch when I get home. You're on a date? Jesus, we haven't even... F <laughs> Enjoy it. I hope it's a good date. Are you going to bang him? Bang him. He deserves it. I don't know who he is, but if he's on a date with you, he has great taste. So taste him and let him taste you. <laughs> Oh, and don't let it be a one night stand. Fuck him again. <laughs> I was sloppy. Would you drop a weight on your fucking foot or something? That happens, bro. We've all been there, man. Shotman and Mark, what is up? Welcome to AMA MSM fucking style. And if you, you guys look like new names, so Muscle Sport Magazine. We ain't just fucking magazine because we got these video things too. I was talking too much and was a knucklehead. Bro, it happens, man. I, we get to the gym. We got the same crew in the fucking morning. And we're all like real conservative, like right-wingers and uh, crotchety old men, basically. And we fucking bitch and moan every morning about things. Hey, Matt. Okay, that was you. Okay, I was. I said before, oh, I just got money to PayPal. I can eat pizza tonight. Bro, I will. you know I'm going to fucking bang the shit out of that. I was saying that we're going to do a Skype. We're going to talk about Charlie a little bit. <laughs> Uncle Charlie. Yes, let's let's definitely schedule that, Matt, um, Darren, Matt. I'm fucking, I'm shocked, bro. <laughs> Darren Manahan, the man from old school, school with a K, iron.com. I said at the beginning of the show, it's four locations. It was three when we printed this fucking magazine. But now they got a fourth location. Cool, cool, for sure. Oh, I, I, I have so many good fucking questions for you. And not just related to fucking Charlie. It's uh, everything. I mean, you, you got the whole thing with, that you guys were Rich Piana. You were friends at the beginning. I have 
I'm very, very inquisitive when it comes to people that have a deep knowledge base. And I can see that you have that. It is possessed in you. I got deadlift to do, squat to do, bench to do, and a 5K tomorrow. It's going to suck balls. Yes, that will. Wrap that bastard up, man. The women in here rule. They love the dirtiness. I know. That's right. Okay. Now the party is starting because who has joined the club? Jay Mason Ortiz, the family member. Jay Mason. Gary, cinnamon whiskey. That's my boy, Gary. That's my buddy, Gary. We used to go to the disco together. <laughs> we would pick up chicks together when we were single in Brooklyn. Bike Life, John Gotti, Dylan fucking Frazier, fucking Bike Life, Ontario, Canadian fucking nut. What's up, fucking great white north motherfucker? Why is Vinny Pazienza on here? <laughs> Pazienza is a cool dude, man. We were on a, uh, Greg and I were on a TV talk show with him. Late night with Johnny P. Live from Staten Island, New York, where Gary lives. Oh, my guy, it's starting to warm up in Canada. Yo, we had a beautiful day here today, man. Yesterday wasn't bad. Today was nice. And it's supposed to be nice on Saturday, like in the 60s. You know, so that's pretty good. That's April weather. Crystal rules that pick of her under carriage. Dude, they fucking pulled that fucking ass shot of hers. That, it, that was so gay. They took that off. I'm thinking about doing an extra live tomorrow for Friday the 13th. Ooh. Bad luck. Might be good luck if you're on the fucking air. By the way, Crystal, the other night on your show, your tits looked fucking scrumptious as always, but they looked extra scrumptious. I know you said it was a different bra and people like it. I agree. <laughs> Joey, I didn't know you are Puerto Rican. What's with the spick beard? <laughs> Maze, come on. You got to admit. <laughs> Maze, I, 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 I have to fucking say uh, that I know you were going to just tear me to shreds with this fucking uh, dye job, head and beard. And I'm all ready for it and looking forward to it. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, Crystal. Shitty to hear. Great pick, though. Looks very natural. I, Maze, I, I couldn't believe it. I mean, people on the street were walking up to me. <laughs> Maze, I, 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 I'm going to say it because you missed it before. I said I have Palumboism. <laughs> I don't know why this fucking one, it, it, I, I think I left it on too long. <laughs> it got my skin a little too. I was scrubbing. <laughs> fucking motherfucker. Cocksucker. I look like I got fucking shit on my face. <laughs> William Wilcox. What's up, Billy Dubs? W Square. What is going on? Yeah, they pulled Crystal's fucking butt bent over fucking picture she was just trying to show her fucking glutes off striated glutes striated glutes with a package in the front we don't want to see any vagina we want to see package and crystal had a vagina so we reported it great beer joe you look like the evil version hey you remember uh, who's a star trek fan remember the evil spock <laughs> in the uh, parallel universe Joey looks like they're trying to hide his identity. <laughs> they the mob <laughs> <coughs> you fucking rule, bro. I love you. Oh, fuck. Maze, did you see that you were in this new picture by Pete the Artist? But because you never post pictures of yourself, we had to put... <laughs> we, we put the little baby in there. What did we... I wrote uh, Nia slash Jose Mason Ortiz. <laughs> Uh, every girl bending on a, over Instagram, they pull Chris, Crystal's pick. You know why? Because we have people that don't like us, and Crystal's part of the family. She's a major part of She's Miss MSM. She fucking does fucking unbelievable fucking work for this company. I'm a fucking dog over here. One's looking this way, the other's looking that way. And he's saying, what do you want from me? Nose job and a beard, definitely. When it's <laughs> But it isn't a nose job, per se. It's kind of like a nose, like, uh, just, you know, just <laughs> swollen. Johnny Juice and Elena in the house. What is up? They're a, they're, those are longtime family members. Those are veterans at a fucking live feed. Hello, Joe. It's Slice of Strength, Change of Name. Oh, shit. What's up, Fitness XG? Slice of Strength. I got Slice of Pizza. <laughs> Joe, you were amazing as the villain in Superman, too. <laughs> 
That was the one with the fucking guy who fell off the horse, right? <laughs> Terry Van Graffith. What's up, Terry? How the fuck are you? Joe, red looks so good on you. Because old school iron looks good on me. Those are my buddies. Everybody, uh, listen, even if you don't live, they have fucking Idaho. They have, uh, what's this other one? Boise, Idaho. There's, there's fucking two in Cali. And then there's another one that just opened up. And But you can order these shirts at OldSchoolLion.com. They got the other one I was wearing, uh, steroids, cocaine, and hookers. So don't tell me that that shirt isn't a conversation piece. You walk down the block wearing that fucking shirt, somebody's going to go, what the fuck does that mean? So it's good to wear. Texas, thank you, Darren. There's also one in Texas. You got to open one on the East Coast. I'll fucking come there and we'll do live shows from there, from the men's room, so we can smell sweaty balls. <laughs> oh, so I can sing garbage dump. Oh, garbage dump. So what is going on? Beard game. Yes, Johnny. Somehow the beard changed color overnight. <laughs> we have no idea how. I always wanted to see what it would look like if Drake had a baby with Janice from The Sopranos. <laughs> Oh, shit. You go in the Brad look of the Misfits with the beard. It looks good. Thanks, Slice, man. Fucking Brad, Brad's beard is, is a fucking... That's a real beard. This is, you know, kind of fucking nonsense. Did you see that Jason was on the, uh, the new podcast? I was listening to uh, most of it. I didn't hear the whole thing. But our columnist, Jason Genoi Genova, the piss lord... It seems like he and the rest of the devil, Del Rey Misfits, have buried said hatchet. So that looks good. Johnny, does it look good? Natural, right? <laughs> you know what I look like? Who watched um, Boardwalk Empire? You remember when the Commodore, <laughs> he, was, he was trying to take over. He was going to get, uh, Jimmy was going to fucking knock Nookie Thompson off. And fucking the Commodore was fucking the uh, Jillian again. <laughs> and he dyed his hair jet black. <laughs> I feel like the Commodore. <laughs> I did. I thought it was fantastic. It was great to see him back. Yeah, it was a great man. Great man. Definitely. Looks like fire. Oh, see, listen, if Dina says that, then I'm all in. I'll do it every month. <laughs> Looks like I'm 21. Jared Jernay, what's up, motherfucker? Sexy Bexy. What's up there, sexy? Jared, I look like a young man like you, right? You're a young man. Chicks galore. Philly, it's either chicks or if it's fake accounts making believe they're chicks. Well, we know the real chicks in the family, but like the new ones... Or their fucking ironic douche and fucking... <laughs> oh, fuck on Rye, bro. So, yes, indeed. So, I am I'm going up to my daughter's college this weekend. And, um, yes, I know you. I know you are real. I've seen you in poison. I'm going on stage in two days. Good luck, bro. Yo, awesome. Looks like someone we know without the beard. Holy shit, it does! <laughs> Has, did Tommy tell you about my painting? <laughs> Sweet Jared, the beard does suit you. You are going to keep it that short. Grow. I don't know if I'm going to keep it at all, but I think if I do, it would be more of like this kind of thin style. I've had beards in the past when I had to be undercover, undercover of the night. Remember that Stone song? Don't pop a boner on stage, Jared. Yes. And, and and the new think about baseball so you don't get a hard on or come too fast is to think about the fucking Big Lenny Tranny video. <laughs> Andy, welcome to the program, brother. It looks good. Keep it. I, I, I think I'm gonna for a little bit. And then, uh, you know, if my wife says no sex and let's just fucking shave it, <laughs> it's gone. I'm sorry. I need my loads. <laughs> Joey looks like the guy in the dog painting if he's got a makeover. <laughs> From those homos on the fashion channel. <laughs> Remember Queer Eye for the Straight Guy? <laughs> what the fuck was that shit? Have you ever been to England? No, no. I've been to New England. <laughs> I was at the old uh, Foxborough Stadium, Patriots. Um, but no, I've never been to across the pond, England. I'd love to go to Europe because I'm dying to go to fucking Italy. And if I ever did go that way, it would be like a uh, uh, like a hopper. 
I'd love to go to Ireland because my wife's half Irish, so she likes that mixed shit. Uh, I go to England, and then I would love to go to Italy, and then uh, maybe Greece, France. I don't know. They're a bunch of cunts over there. They they fucking hate Americans. So I'd probably get into a fucking drunken, stupid fight if I was there. Joey, come to the UK. I would love to if I ever do. All the guys that like Stevie Shuey and you guys and fucking Mark the fucking Golden Jet. I'd fucking, we'd hang out and get fucking loaded together. Joey's been to England to see the Red Sox. <laughs> but yeah, man, we would have a fucking pisser. I would love to fucking go there. But that would be a, uh, that would be like a wife trip. That wouldn't be a, you know, I wouldn't go there to cover one of Bob Chick's shows, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I really don't give a fuck. <laughs> you could go to Puerto Rico now. <laughs> You'll fit right in with that look. <laughs> C-Dub, speaking of beards. The man with the greatest beard in fucking history. C.W. Kat Vong's hubby. C. Eddie Hall, the strongest man. Yes, I have heard of him. Paolo left up. I have heard of him. I don't know much about him. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to fake it's orgasm. <laughs> What's up, C.W.? How the fuck are you, bro? When are you going to dye that fucking black and red, that fucking, that crazy fucking beard of yours? <clears throat> so, Yes. Uh, Eddie Hall, is he related to Monty from the fucking, uh, you know, the, the, what was that? Uh, let's make a deal looking sharp. I know you would like it cause you're a beard guy. You're not one of these. I hate beards.com fucking guys. <clears throat> the MSM family fucking rules. John, it does. Thank you, sir. And it rules because you fucking guys. The family doesn't, it, it, the family is many, many p working parts. Hello, everyone. Hello, CW. I hope you're having a nice day. Do you ever run into that fat fuck? You guys live in Kentucky. You ever run into that fucking piece of shit, the ironic fucking douche? <laughs> if you do, send my fucking regards. Red beard, the pirate. Black beard, the guinea. There you go. <laughs> See Dubs, did you get the new issue yet? It, you should have got it by now. I mailed yours out. Um, I believe that was Saturday, if I'm not mistaken. I believe it was Saturday, with the picture of Kathy in it. <clears throat> and next issue, we're gonna have the Arnold Classic photographs. He's up in Louisville. Okay, so you're in a different part. Like when when you don't come from a state, you think it's all like one block. <laughs> you know, like hey, you live in fucking Illinois. So you go to Cup games. <laughs> you <know? laughs> oh, you look tan. You know what it is? It's fucking hot in here, and I got the fucking four lights going on, and it's like I'm fucking. I'm very warm. Mine hasn't shown up yet. Really? When did I mail yours? Hmm. I'm trying to remember. You should get it by Saturday latest, Crystal. And yes, uh, Crystal's fucking column is fucking great. Not that I needed to fucking point that out because it's obvious that it was. Because Now, let me ask you something. <laughs> Do you think that uh, Steve Blackman would approve an article like this if it was submitted to him. <laughs> okay. I will, yes, it came yesterday. A little didn't care about mama in it. She went straight to the crystal pick. Oh, she, she, she has a, the hots for crystal. Can I watch? <laughs> That's Crystal's butt. Did you go to the shine salon? <laughs> yeah. This is the name of Crystal's article. I think I said it last time, but it's worth fucking uh, uh, numerous times. The little one. Dom piss and ball busting. Female bodybuilder sessions run the gamut. And she talks all about some very strange males that uh, did sessions with her. <clears throat> and um, if you really want to fucking read it, um, you're going to enjoy it. Trust me on that. It's hot. I, I was thinking about jerking off to it, but then, um, I, I, I came before I finished reading it. It was so good. <laughs> yes, but uh, I, I, I must say as a filthy, perverted, disgusting editor, it was great. <laughs> they pay good money to do that stuff. I can't believe somebody could 
reach orgasm by getting kicked in the balls, though. Because there's nothing. How's TRT? Good, man. Good. I'm, uh, I waited for the, um, the surgery to go out of the way. Uh, I took a couple of weeks off because I, I got the surgery and shit. So um, I, I hit up last Friday. I hit a shot. And tomorrow I will be popping another one. But can you imagine somebody actually coming in their drawers from getting kicked in the balls? I, I, I don't understand it. Maybe, uh, listen, I can see if the guy was jerking himself off and she kept kicking something. It probably wouldn't work for me, but I could understand it if they like the pain aspect. But the, nobody's even touching their dick. They're like, command their dick to come, like fucking mental telepathy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Giuliani, how are you, bro? Paul Cullen, my fucking... Speaking of Ireland, I was just talking about Ireland, Paul. Hey, Hot Stuff Nutritionals. You're going to see their commercial again on the next episode of Muscle Sport Television. Not a chance. I can imagine crying like a baby getting kicked in balls. Yeah, I mean, I... I, I listen, everybody likes a little pain as part of their pleasure, like with sexual things, but not without the pleasure part with the pain. It's got to be like test and deck a stack together. I got to have pleasure and pain. <laughs> I've had guys get off just by hugging me when they walked in the door. Now, do they get to stay <laughs> like they paid for the hour or half hour? I mean, do they, do they like, you know, okay, I'm, I'm out. They <laughs> just turn around. You just boot them out. <laughs> How do they come by? Listen, I don't. It's no saying that you're not sexy because you know that I I think you're fucking hot as fucking you know as a fucking inferno. But I don't know how do you hug by coming somebody unless you jerked off like right outside the fucking door and you were a second from coming and the next contact made you come. They stay for the hour. So what do you do? Like you fucking play Parcheesi or some shit. <laughs> Joe, someone making fun of my pecker is enough to make it go limp, let alone kick it. <laughs> pecker. I love that word. I, I've used that a lot myself. My pecker. <laughs> That's a guy our age word, man. Like, I don't see my son telling his friends, I go suck your own pecker. You, know? <laughs> you like that, Alec? <laughs> Holy fuck. Uh, so it is, uh, I'm good. I get them off more than one. Oh, shit. Okay, good. That's great. I thought you would be like, eh, one and done. Sorry. Joey came when he was sitting under the hairdryer at the beauty parlor. <laughs> My mother still does that. They have the old lady, the space helmets. <laughs> Captain Video. <laughs> His video ranges. <laughs> oh, fucking shit, man. Holy fuck. So, yes, Mark, what is up, Mark Bowley? How you been, brother? <clears throat> How the fuck you been? Jason, miss up, Jason. But the fucking, uh, yeah, man, I, 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 uh, I, I'm getting into the baseball season is really starting to come together nice. Obviously, the teams in New York are doing, uh, well, the Yankees are kind of, you know, men's and men's, but they'll be fine. And the Mets are playing like fucking, you know, like fucking world beaters right now. So I'm enjoying baseball. How much fucking Aquanet you got in that thing? <laughs> Any NBA fans out there? Because I did my NBA picks for the first round and I, I, I filmed a short video before I went on the air that I'm going to edit and throw up today because uh, the games start on Saturday. So if there's any NBA fans out there, I'll run my picks by you to see if you go, what are you, nuts? Or, yeah, that sounds pretty fucking feasible. I used to have a, the small cans, like the travel size of Aquanet Maze, and I used to keep it in my glove compartment of my 83 Monte Carlo. <laughs> And that is not fake. That is not a cliche. It is true. <laughs> I enjoy the fights on baseball. Yes. Johnny Juice, you are going to fucking love my pick then. Minnesota over Houston in seven. That's my shocker of the first round. Fucking Jimmy fucking Butler back three games. They go to the fucking wire last night with a must win against Denver. Winning you're in. And they go to overtime. That is going to be momentum. And Houston is just like, la, la, la. They had that first seed fucking locked up a while ago. Joe had the Aquanet mullet. Oh, I had a nice, nice mullet. 
And I'm not a Minnesota T-Wolves fan. I'm just, as an NBA fan, I'm just going by what I see. The take on the Oriental rookie pitcher that uh, hits also. Yes, uh, I forget his name. Fucking, you know, fucking Toyota Kawasaki, whatever the fuck his name is. Who gives a fuck? But I think it's great. It's a great fucking story. Um, I think uh, he's been really playing very well. I mean, he pitched outstanding. He's been hitting the ball well, too. Uh, I think it's a great thing for the sport. I think it's something that... Uh, it, could he be like a trailblazer doing that? I don't know. I mean, I think it would be pretty cool if he did. You need to show us photos next week at a mullet. Oh, I'll post them. I got to find some. I had a nice fucking mullet, man. The Iron Witch says the beard looks great. Oh, tell her thank you very much, old school Iron Darren Manahan. Is that your wife, the Iron Witch? Is she your, your, your old lady, as they used to fucking say in the old days? I think his name should be the alphabet. It pretty much is, right? <laughs> What about the performance on the 32-year-old Ingram playing his first game for the Lakers? He's not 32 years old, is he? Is he 30? Not yet. Oh, okay. I don't want to rush it. I'm sorry. <laughs> At least you, you're, you're, you're a couple, though. You're, you're, you're having dates and stuff like that. You're, 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 you're going steady. Remember that? Going steady. I'm going steady with her. <laughs> fucking Gina Lola Bridget and I are going steady. She's wearing my pin and my varsity jacket. <laughs> oh, fuck. Is Ingram that old? No. He's not that old. Ingram on the Lakers, he's been there for a while. But he's not that old. Fucking Lakers. Everybody thinks they're going to sign all of these people in the offseason. They're going to fucking suck dick works worse than they did this year. And those fucking shit Clippers, they're back to being the fucking... <laughs> Before it was hip to be Clip. <laughs> Ingram is 23. Okay. I guess your, your, your number is just... I thought so. Yeah, because my son talks about him a lot. My son's a fucking... A hoops fucking junkie. The kid knows everything. When I tell him the picks, he's going to go, You're fucking nuts. The fucking Harden ain't going to let that happen. Listen, Mike D'Antoni, I saw him as a fucking Nick coach, and I covered the Knicks at the time. And that is a team that could be fucking beat very easily because they only play one way. Nobody plays defense in basketball anyway, but D'Antoni is complete fucking run and gun, fucking 130 points. If you could fucking get them on an off night and make them uncomfortable a little bit, you could really fucking, you know, you could beat them. Ah, oh, CW, he's been playing 10 years in the league, got called up for two games. Is that a different Ingram I'm thinking of then? I'm getting confused. Lucas, what's up, Lucas? In the G League. Yeah, they call, I went to a G League game this year, the Long Island Nets versus the Westchester Knicks. Andre Ingram, okay, so this is a different, don't the, the Lakers have another young guy named Ingram they fucking drafted a couple of years ago? He's been playing in a G. Okay, so I got to look that up. I didn't see that. I know they uh, they they beat the Clippers in their last game. They played each other. The Staples Center's co-tenants played each other the last game of the season the other night. And uh, the Showtime Lakers, once Showtime, got called up. Is good for you know what? Good for him. Good for the fucking organization for doing that because. When you when you have a guy that's been in the Bush League for years and uh, he probably went overseas and played in China and fucking all of this shit and you know couldn't get back to the end maybe he never was drafted I'm I'm assuming I'm just fucking you know taking a, a stab. Oh, basketball fans here! I have a really cool I you know I, you, you know I like to fucking write articles that are very different from the use usual. So in this new issue. I think he drilled like 19. Good for him, bro. Celtics the clear winner on Kyrie Isaiah swa swap. Now, obviously, I wrote this before Kyrie was hurt. But I'm basically looking ahead at this deal into the offseason. And I'm saying how uh, Isaiah got traded to the Lakers. And the basic, the kitty from that deal was the Nets pick. Now, I got to look at the see the final standings. But I don't think the Nets picks, it's not going to be top five even. It definitely won't be top three. So I think when they made that trade, the Cleveland Cavaliers... They really thought that Nets pick was going to be like, Phew. I wish I could play in the G-Spot League. Everyone plays with balls there. Yes. Now, we men, we also have a G-Spot, and it's called the prostate. 
but you got to go through your asshole to get there. So it's not the, it, not many chicks want to do that. Like every guy wants to finger a girl, and then you got to put your thumb in and up. How's the MSM business doing? We're doing good. Old school iron. I love you guys. You're, helping me. You're keeping the lights on in this fucking dump. <laughs> no, we're doing all right. Listen, like I said, um, this isn't something that I could fucking probably, uh, you know, have as my only income, but I have the luxury of this being my full-time job with another with a pension income. So uh, it's doing well. It's doing well. It was doing really, really well last year for a little while. Then we took a little dump, and I think we definitely rebounded in 18. Hey, I'm fucking crazy. You're a happy man today with your fucking 7 nothing win last night. You're the man. Wish you nothing. But thank you, John. Thank you so much. And helping me out coming on these feeds like you guys do every week is definitely going to help the business. I'm not figuring an ass without gloves and money involved. See, that would take the fucking pleasure away from me. The the gloves and money. Come on. You never fingered a guy's ass? Come on. Every chick's done it. <laughs> Come on, Crystal. <laughs> See, I shave my asshole, and I scrub it clean in the fucking shower. So, you know, if you got to get me right after I get out of the shower to do it, I'm all right with that, too. <laughs> I'll take 10 showers a day if I can get my ass eaten 10 times a day. <laughs> oh, we got about six minutes left in this fucking crazy-ass cocksucking program. Chaos Nutrition, big fucking Rob D., what is up, Rob D. and Stevie Shoesmith and the Chaos Nutrition crew? Nope, the nurse in me can't do it. Well, you nurses are all the fucking same. <laughs> but I did break her down a, a few times in 23 years. What is going on with you? Fucking Rob, I like the videos, bro. Nice intro. I know you got you and Stevie have been posting some cool videos. I love the 3D chaos logo and the fucking. So, dude, keep that up because that is what is going to separate you from the fucking aluminum fag labs of the fucking industry. Keep doing what you're doing and learn from others' mistakes. Always learn from others' mistakes. <sighs> Hey, Rose Rossi. <laughs> Rose Rossi. Rossi. By the way, I ordered the Norelco body groom. Hope it's great. You will not cut your asshole or your nuts with it. It's, it's fucking awesome, bro. Lulu. Luis Gustavo. What's up? Last day to save fam. Oh, on your, your Chaos Nutrition, you guys have a fucking sale going. Plug it. Throw it out there. I'll fucking say it, man. Silent one. Does that mean you fucking you did one of the SBDs, bro? <laughs> Give me the info. I'll read it out loud, Mr. Rob, even though people can read that. But for the replay thing I'm talking about, well, they'll be able to see it. But Chaos Nutrition, the hottest new fucking supplement company in the fucking industry. Yes, and we will be plugging the shit out of them because they are family members. Joe, did you say that you had an announcement earlier? Uh, I kind of did, Crystal, and I I need her to she see she is always on the fucking ball. She reminds me when I forget things. But Knucklehead, yo, what's up, Knucklehead? Deals at chaos. Yeah, what the fuck is up? What the fuck is up with you, brother? I'm glad you made it. Fucking learning, uh, learn from my mistakes like that time you died. You're being jet black and paid the Dominican to line it up. <laughs> oh, amazing. But let me get the announcement out before we get off. Last day for free shipping and a free t-shirt with each, each purchase at, of chaotic pre-workout. Go to, go to fucking chaos nutrition. Go to the fucking, uh, First, go to the Instagram account, fucking follow it, like all their posts, and then click on the fucking link in bio and go buy that fucking shit and get your free shirt and free shipping. You know how much shipping costs these guys when they say free shipping? It's supplements. It ain't fucking magazines. I don't pay a lot when I get free shipping. I ain't going to bullshit you. No, any dude, Big Rob, are you kidding me? I love you, you motherfucker. <laughs> but yes, uh, before we get cut off, we got like three minutes to go. Um, I don't know if any any of you guys recall when I said the next thing that the uh, aluminum fag labs and the ironic douche are going to do is copy me by doing a sports program. Have you noticed they've been talking about sports with the Conor McGregor and now even uh, 
uh, Yankees talk. Let me tell you something. And all the fucking facts were dead wrong. So I, thank you, Rob. Free t-shirts come with the jet black dye stains on in limited edition. Um, my, I had a nose nose that I recorded already for the next fucking uh, episode, but I'm bumping it to the following one because I got to record a new one while I'm all full of fucking piss and vinegar over this sports thing now. See you Monday, Mighty Brawling Joe. Yes, sir, you shall. MSM family don't suck monkey balls. Yes, we do, and they taste wonderful. We eat monkey brains and eat monkey balls and fucking hope there's some cum in them. We hope the monkey didn't shoot his fucking load first before we eat his balls. We want the fishies intact. But how ironic, pun intended, that sports has been on the fucking menu on the other side. I, I can't understand it. I can't understand it. Anything you can do, I can do better. That's what they're trying to fucking sing over there. Often imitated, never duplicated. Crystal, they don't have the balls to fucking uh, imitate me totally. Duplicate. They can't, can't duplicate it because they got to fucking knob the fucking federations. The beard is you, bro. Thanks, knucklehead. Can you believe that, though? He's trying to talk sports. <laughs> hey, make sure you go to oldschooliron.com. You can order this. Fuck, it's two-sided. Look at this shit. Look at that. Beautiful fucking. It even makes me, old fucking saggy tits over here, look fucking like they're not that saggy. It holds them in. It's a nice, very comfortable, tight fit, but not too tight. Tight in the right spot, see? And you can walk around and go boop, boop, be doop, like we used to do in Brooklyn, the guineas. <laughs> oh, they sound like pussy. You mean, uh, you mean aluminum? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and booyah, and I got to say something. They need to proofread and proof watch because they're getting a lot of fucking things that are slipping right through. And I ain't going to say what because I'm just enjoying it. Yours don't sag. Are you kidding me? Those fucking implants. Those fucking things are beautiful. 140 remaining and counting. Last minute of play. Two minutes. Hell yeah. Okay, guys. That is going to do it for us this week on Ask Me Anything MSM Style. I am your host, Joe Pietaro, publisher of... Muscle Sport Magazine. Go to musclesportmag.com slash subscribe. 32 bucks a year. Free shipping in the United States. Or if you want some shirts and single issues or back issues, go to musclesportmag.com slash store. And also free shipping in the United States. Shirts, thongs, stickers, patches. Maybe we'll even come out with rubbers. Muscle Sport Mag condoms. So we can fucking wear them over the microphone. Guys, thank you so much. You're the man. Thanks, Joe. No, you the man, silent one. I have a feeling that you might be uh, the fake account this week. But if I'm wrong, I apologize. If I'm not, eh, great cover. No, it's fucking all cat. There wasn't me. And Pedro Blanco photography. I cannot take credit for that. Her is the model and Pedro is the fucking uh, photographer. And my design is framework digital design. Guys, thank you so much for joining us this week. You're not? Okay, good. I like you. That's why. Great show. No, great crowd. That's why it's a great show. Because of the family. Without the family, I am nothing. Guys, have a great fucking weekend. Alex, got your MSM fix. Beautiful. I love it. Me too. I will see you guys on Monday for Muscle Sport Radio. Have a wonderful weekend. Drink beers. Fuck your wife. Eat pizza and Finger your husband's assholes, ladies. Out! <laughs> videos, masterpieces. Guys, have a great weekend. Have a couple of beers. Bang your old lady. If you're a girl, bang your old man. And we will see you guys. Muscle Sport Radio, 3 o'clock on Monday. No flows, no flakes on.